The industry now calls COVID-19 the number one killer in law enforcement. As COVID-19 continues its deadly rage, Florida law enforcement officers are still resisting any mention of vaccine mandates. Tonight, IT Mem reporter Katie Legrone sits down with an officer's wife recently widowed by the virus. And she's speaking for the very first time to the media about her loss and her fight to change minds and save lives. Inside police headquarters in St. Petersburg, Karen Weisskopf never wanted to be here, never wanted our cameras surrounding her. Or reporters speaking with her. And here we are. Here we are. It's still surreal. It's been 21 days since you lost your husband to COVID-19. Correct. How are you doing? I'm taking it... Um, I think hour by hour and day by day. Her husband, Officer Michael Weisskopf, died August 27th after a grueling 28-day battle with the coronavirus. The nurse was waiting, and then she put her arms out and told me, you know, um, I'm so sorry, we worked on him for two hours, Mike didn't make it, and I was like, no, 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 this can't be, this can't be. Just one day earlier, doctors had told his wife he was showing signs of improvement. They were even planning to remove him from the critical care ICU where he had been hooked up to IVs and intubated. My purpose is to never ever see anyone go through what he went through, the pain. There wasn't one day, one hour, one moment that he didn't suffer. Mike's name now added to the growing list of men and women in uniform who died from COVID and were unvaccinated when they got infected. It did not have to happen. More than 650 officers nationwide have now succumbed to coronavirus, according to the Fraternal Order of Police, which tracks reported deaths. Florida among the states having lost the most officers, second only to Texas. But despite the death count that continues, the industry remains reluctant to agree to mandated vaccines. It's their body. I can't tell them what to do. To date, a small handful of Florida cities and counties have approved vaccine mandates, though most law enforcement aren't included because unions won't support it. We don't like being uh, mandated or and pushed into anything like that. And this week, the governor announced he would fine local governments who did mandate shots. You're out there dealing with the public and looking what we're going through. It's approved. Why would we not? But this officer's widow wants the public to know what she witnessed and lost leaves a much heftier price. She'll spend the rest of her life trying to overcome. I, I said, is there any way I can go to sleep and just die of a broken heart? Because it'll be a lot easier. This weekend, the annual Fallen Officers Memorial is scheduled to take place in Tallahassee. The lives of 56 officers will be honored, 20 of them due to COVID-19. And next year's memorial is slated to be even more somber. So far this year, 80 officers have died, 71 of them to COVID-19. In St. Petersburg, Katie Legrone, back to you.